Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Lego Leaf Three Dragon here, and today we have a little bit of a different video. This is an unboxing video, but for something a little bit different. This is from Booster Bricks' website, and this is a monthly subscription box. Now, Booster Bricks actually reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to make a video unboxing and review of their monthly subscription box, and of course, I was super interested. And they sent it out to me, and I got it in the mail, and I'm going to be reviewing it for you guys here today. I'm really excited to see what's inside, because I'm pretty much going in completely blind. So let's check this thing out. And of course, guys, if you're interested in what you see here today, I will leave a link in the description down below to check out Booster Bricks' website. But let's open up this thing here real quick, and I don't really know what's going on. This is a very nice box, packaged very well, and of course, I'm using the handy dandy butter knife. Kids, use these, because you're going to cut your arm off using more sharp knife. All right, let's check out what's inside here. So I really, I don't know what's happening. I mean, they told me a little bit about their box, but for the most part, I really am not sure what this is. So let's check this out. And this is kind of a little pamphlet sheep explaining the um, whole thing, which is pretty cool. And there's inside, it says there's a premiere challenge, a minifig challenge, a mystery box, and a micro build challenge. They told me kind of about these building challenges inside these boxes. I'm really curious to see what these are all about. All right, so here is everything that's inside. This, I'm assuming, is the minifigure challenge. I'll figure out more about this in just a second. I'm gonna unbox everything here real quick. This is the micro build challenge. This box is kind of coming open. This, I guess, is the bonus mystery box, which just seems to have some, ooh, that's a cool piece to randomly include in here. That's pretty sweet. And then we've got the premiere challenge, which is this small little box and nothing else. So. Let's take a closer look at all of these things individually. This mystery box is the first thing that caught my eye. So let's see what's inside here. It says bonus mystery box, your monthly boost of rare and specialty Lego parts. So we kind of already got a sneak peek, but what's inside, but here we go. There's a little sheet down here and you can pause and read that if you guys want to. So that's pretty cool. And let's see what we have inside this mystery pack. I can already tell the, start to tell there are some pretty legit pieces in here, including one of the massive back of plane pieces which are you know really big and jack up the prices of those sets so that's pretty unique so here is that part that is pretty cool and inside there appears to be an older style of hinge joint but look at that that, that just gave this to me for free it's a mystery part that's that's pretty legit and let's see what else we got inside here there's some, actually some pretty cool pieces going on whoa is this from the old gungan sub i think it is that's awesome, a bridge piece. I love this part, the uh, old style cannon. I believe this is from the desert skiff and always useful to get these kind of parts and you know, the like classic uh, bat wing kind of piece and just some miscellaneous parts. These are actually really useful. I can totally use these in some kind of mock. So it's actually pretty cool. These are some pretty legit pieces right here. And I think this one might be my favorite. That's an awesome printed cockpit piece right there. I love it. So this here is the minifigure challenge. And I guess you're supposed to build a minifigure that's supposed to be like the class of 2016. Not entirely sure, but let's open up this thing here real quick. And inside we've got these parts to build a minifigure with. So let's zoom in on these here real quickly. There's some pretty cool pieces. Um, this is a classic kind of Lego head right there. And that torso print's actually pretty nice. I think that's like one of the train or airplane pilot conductors or something. That's pretty cool. And you can put that right there. Pretty good looking minifig, and there's some really nice accessories. You've got a lightsaber blade, a saw piece, a couple of, of course, obligatory like a coffee mugs, love that. Uh, this is from the Toy Story series, the green binoculars, and you also have the classic gray ones, and a bottle of some sort, and a translucent pink coffee mug? That's really cool, I don't think I've ever had that piece before, so pretty cool minifig stuff here real quick. Okay, so I guess this blue piece was also floating around, and then there's some tape on it, and I guess what they want you to do here is like build your minifigure, and then put the figure on this and then kind of put this little backing part right here and close it up. And there you go. There you go. You've got the minifigure displayed inside this box. And of course, you're free to use any of these accessories included here. So that's actually pretty cool. That works out pretty well. So here is the second of three challenges. This is the micro build challenge, which is the objective here says to build a miniature Western town using only the parts in this pack. So that actually is going to be a challenge and I'm going to do it guys for you here. So I will probably take a little bit of a break, but let's see kind of what pieces we have here real quick before I dive into building a small Western town. Cause this actually sounds pretty fun. 
and might actually be a little bit of a challenge. So let's see what's inside here. So these are the parts that we have available for us to make this Western town. That seems to be like, that's kind of a random piece right there. Oh my, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to pull this off to build a miniature Western town with just these pieces, but it's all part of the challenge. So let's see what I can do. I think they call this a challenge for a reason. Um, this is my Western town. There's some air quotes I just threw up behind the camera right there because I don't know if I did a very good job. I think I actually did a pretty terrible job. This is hardly recognizable as a Western town, but I tried my best. So I guess I'll kind of show you guys around. This here is a very multicolored bank of some sort. And there were leftover pieces that I didn't really know where to put them. So like that just kind of ended up up top there. This is just supposed to be kind of like a random building that apparently is sponsored by the Coast Guard. But it's a sticker right there. This, honestly, were all the leftover pieces I had. I'm like, I need to make something. So this is what I'm calling the hotel, which has some very modern and interesting architecture for an old Western town. And these are some extra pieces that I just made a little building out of right here. And then these are the ones that I thought were kind of okay. This right here is what I'm calling the gold mine, which I think looks okay. It looks decent, like little train track coming out of the mountain side right there. And it's supposed to be like a little gold mine house which can go next to that. And then my favorite one though, probably here is the water tower that I built for my small train. So the small train can go underneath the water tower right here. So that is my Western town. I don't think I did a very good job at this challenge. I was kind of at a loss with some of these pieces. This is really fun and interesting and it actually is a challenge, which I really appreciated. Last up here is the premier challenge. Now I'm assuming this one is going to be the hardest and have the most pieces. So let's open up this box here and kind of see what's going on inside. So, all right, that's actually a nice, pretty large parts pack right here. This is a good amount of pieces and I can already start to see some cool pieces going on inside there. Probably won't be able to go through all of these because there's just way too many, but let's see what the challenge is. So you guys can pause and read this, but it says construct a Lego bridge as long as possible with only two anchor points. The bridge needs to cover a gap and the longest self-supported bridge wins. Now, um, actually something that they also have is a Facebook group online where you can kind of go online and submit your challenges and see who wins. So my job here is to build a bridge out of these Lego pieces with only two anchor points and see how far I can get it without it falling over. And there's also a bonus challenge. It says test the weight bearing capacity of your bridge by adding pennies to plastic cups in the middle of your bridge. Post your score in the VIP group. Okay, so this seems pretty tough and this will probably take a while. So I'm gonna have to take a pretty long break and see what I can do with this bridge. I just spent a good like hour trying to construct this bridge here and they give you a bunch of random pieces. I used pretty much all of them besides a couple of random Technic pins that I just couldn't find a place for on this bridge and my bridge really isn't too long maybe like two three feet long here and it's a hodgepodge guys look at this this is a hodgepodge of parts but it does work it only has two anchors at both ends and it is fully suspended over these stools here in my studio and i'm pretty happy with how it came out i think it works pretty well i'm no physics person but my strategy here was to make the ends pretty heavy so using a lot of the brick pieces at the ends here and in the middle here, I used pretty much all of the plate pieces and then some random pieces like that one in between and this one right here to kind of support it so it wasn't too thin that it wouldn't collapse in on itself. Now, I'm not going to do the weight challenge, but I can guarantee you this bridge would suck at it because this thing really is very, very skinny. And if I put anything on top of it, it's gonna collapse in on itself. But I think I did a decent job. I'm sure someone else is going to do way better at it, but I had a lot of fun building this bridge. It was definitely a fun challenge to try and make basically a physics problem out of Lego pieces. This is actually pretty cool and I was fun. It was fun to do and I'm happy I did it and this is really neat. So that about wraps it up here for this video today and I want to thank the people, the very kind people over at Booster Bricks for sending me this box. That was so, so nice of them. I am so thankful for that and I think they have something very unique, something very special going on over at Booster Bricks. Now, I like subscription boxes, I have a few and most of the time you get them and you open them up and you get a couple of little cool things and then you're done, you just have the cool things. This box, you get cool stuff, you get really cool Lego pieces, but then you also get to be able to do something with it. Like I actually spent a good like hour trying to build that bridge for this box. There's fun involved with this box outside of the stuff you get. And even if you don't like the challenges, you get really cool Lego pieces and you can build your own creations out of that. So 
One, it's just a great parts pack because I got some amazing pieces, especially from the mystery parts box. And two, it's a ton of fun getting to do kind of more interactive and challenging things with LEGO. Stuff like building stuff out of pieces that you wouldn't really think would make like a small western town or like a physics problem with a really cool bridge. So I am very happy with this box. I think it's super cool. They have something really nice going on over at Booster Bricks. And if you're interested in subscribing to the subscription box, I'll leave a link down below in the description where you can check them out on their website. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like this video, rate the video, and subscribe to this channel. Also guys, don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and follow me on Instagrams. All of those links will be in the description below along with Booster Bricks. And I hope you see you guys next time. I'll see you guys later.